you will be sending out a signal to the horse by your presence in or near the paddock, whether you're conscious of doing that or not. The horse will notice you and will be making decisions about whether it's safe for him to stay where he is or whether he needs to move his feet. The decision he makes could be based on many factors, including his instinct and characteristics, or his memory of previous experiences, or his learnt behaviour. You can think of the space around the horse rather like a bubble. So if you get too close, you might pop the bubble and the horse might leave. This horse has already noticed the person approaching and is watching out of the corner of an eye, even though he continues to graze. As you approach, you will be sending a signal to the horse. You can approach in such a way that you help him to stay, or you can approach in a way that causes him to leave. He may choose to leave, even if you approach in a manner that you think might help him to stay. The signal that you think you're sending might not be the same one that the horse is receiving. What might look like a gentle approach to you could look like the approach of a predator to the horse. Your horse will be sending out signals all the time and it's how you interpret these signals which can help or hinder the way you interact with your horse. The smaller the signal you notice, the better the chance of understanding the horse. Changes in breathing, the twitch of a muscle, slow blinking are all small but really significant signals. This horse is very aware of what's happening with the person who's approaching him. A good exercise in this situation is to really try and pick up on the small signals that the horse is sending out which tell you that he's noticing you. Try mirroring the horse's behaviour. So if the horse is walking away, that's what you do, keeping the same sort of distance from your horse. And then when your horse stops, you stop too. The timing of this is important. So the horse has noticed the person moving, but the person didn't stop. They kept on pushing in on that horse's bubble and that's what caused the horse to move away. The horse is being affected by the person from quite a distance. As she approaches, the horse doesn't turn its head, just turns its ear towards her. As it turns its head, that's a good moment to just stand still and allow the horse a little bit of thinking time. If you put on too much pressure, that horse is going to leave. You can just see how it's thinking about leaving again. He's managing to hang in there, but no, he's got to move his feet. Each horse is going to be different. Some will allow you to walk right up to them and touch them and will seem to take very little notice of you, while others will see you from 50 metres away and be snorting. The horses who are the most sensitive will be the best ones to help you improve your awareness and develop your skills in this area. They're the ones who, when you've overstepped the mark, they move away and so it's really clear that uh, you've got too close.